Hey YouTube, welcome, welcome to the channel. If you are just tuning in, uh, we are in the middle of changing the rear air suspension on my 2005 BMW X5. Um, last week, what we did is we kind of dug into the back, a back hatch. We got all of those plastic panels out. Uh, we got access to the, um, to the top of that rear strut. And then we also released the air. So we are all ready to go. The car is prepped, the car is ready. This video, what we have to do is we have to get the car jacked up and we have to get the old rear strut out and get that new rear strut in. So pretty exciting. Um, the reason why we are on this journey is because we were getting an air suspension code. A couple of videos ago, um, I told you that we were getting an air suspension code. So we changed the, uh, so we changed the, ah! So we, we, we changed the air struts on the front of the vehicle, um, but still getting code, we cleared the code, code came back, and we kind of took a quick, uh, took a closer look at what was happening, and we noticed that the back end of the BMW was kind of leaking out a little bit, and it was going down. So, which of course led us to believe that, hmm, we probably have a leak somewhere in the rear air suspension, the air, rear air shocks. So that is what we are doing, um, placing both of them. I like to do things in pairs um, just to make sure. But yeah, so we need to get into it. Right now what we're gonna do is get that car jacked up so we can start this project. Time to jack up the car. We are going to use our tow bar right here and jack it up right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jack up my wheel. As you can see that the, the strut is fully extended, what I need to do is compress that. Uh, so it'll help take some of that pressure off so I can get those pins off up above. So I placed my jack under the wheel. You can see that it's starting to compress. Above. So let's move that up a little bit. And then we'll go take the pins out from above. So you just you press these little prongs together, and then the hose should pop right off, just like that. You see that? That's off. All right, great. Now I gotta remove these gold clips here. Let's see how do these work. If I turn it, I can get it at a ah! better angle. Ah! Okay, I didn't lose it. Where'd it go? There we go. Got the clip off. Now with those pins removed, there's one more pin that we have to remove. So let me show you where this is at, under the strut. Um, if I can get it out of here. There is, can you see that pin right there? I need to remove that pin. So that's next, and after I remove that, I should be able to get that strut out of there.
it. Oh, man. So I think the main trick of what I did was I actually was pulling on this while I was trying to stretch in between them. I was trying to op open up here while I pulled. And I got it to be around the peg a little bit and I was able then to take my pliers and pop it completely off. I love YouTubers and DIYers. These assholes don't show you these little things that are hard to get off. This is what I want to know. This is what you need to know. Maybe I'm the only one, but these things would be handy to know. Damn it, save me some time. All right, now I think we are ready to remove this strut. that black little prong thing um, up above. So in case I broke those, earlier when taking them off, I have um, a way to replace them. Here's what the top looks like. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna to try to feed it in the same way I took it off. So I'm gonna put the top in and then go up and then hopefully feed it in the right way. Um, the way that it looks is that the two prongs are closest to me and one prong that way. I might lift the tire up just a little bit to try to help support it while I'm trying to feed it through the top. And that will hold it while I can get those prongs up above. Okay. Hey, Einstein, before we jack it up, why don't you try feeding in the uh, strut first? Maybe that would be helpful. snug a little bit, maybe then I can try to maneuver it to fit right in those holes. You can see it start to appear in this hole right here. And if I start to move it around, I can see those prongs on the side. Right there, see that? And I just gotta get these two lined up and then continue to jack it up and hopefully it's snug into its spot. All right, now I'm just inserting the new golden clips. I pretty much just push it in and press them in, push them, it goes pretty easy. All right, now I have to remove this top here. I left this cover on so that uh, it protected and made sure nothing got in here when I was Lifting it up. There we go. A little bit of stinker. There we go. Can you see that? There. All right, we are going to now put the black clip around this pipe. There is a little divot in there. So I need to make sure that black little bracket is positioned in there. And then, so you should just push it down until you hear a click. All right, now that the tube is positioned back in, I am going to put my gasket back on. 
get that all nice and snug. I am also going to put my pin back in down below. I need to do that. And then I don't want to forget, I'm going to tighten my hose back up. So after I do the gasket, put the pin back in and tighten that up, this side should be done. <laughs> A little messy. Um, got the driver's side done, very exciting. I'm gonna quickly do the other side um, and I'm going to um, skip shooting it so I can run through it pretty quick. Then we can start it up and do a little test on it. All right, so we'll do that real quick. I got both struts in, uh, very exciting. I am now gonna put the tires on uh, because we are ready for that part of it. So hopefully you'll get those tires on and we'll test it out and see how it goes. All right, I'm back. Uh, I had to take a quick break because I had to run an errand, clean up and run a quick errand. Um, but now I've, what I have left to do is um, torque these bolts here and I should be done. Now we're going to start the car and see what the suspension does. I needed to fast forward a little bit. Uh, we were sitting there waiting for the air to fill back up in the shocks, but in reality, it was really helpful when we got the car out and kind of zoomed around town a little bit. And what we did, we came back, we measured to see where the air suspension was leveling off, uh, waited a couple of days, measured again, just to make sure that we weren't losing any air in those shocks. Um, which we're not, so that's great. Um, and then what the next step we did is that air suspension code was still coming back. So if you know BMW, we had to go actually use that device and go in and manually clear that code, um, which we did, and it has not come back. So yay, I think this problem is solved um, and we can move on. What else is great is that we have a full set of new air suspension in this car. If you remember a couple episodes ago, we replaced the front air suspension and now we just replaced the rear air suspension. So this car is sitting in really good shape right now. I'm very happy with it. Um, so on to the next project. Um, I want to thank you guys for hanging with me, um, for watching this. If you subscribe, I really appreciate your support. Um, but for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just time lapse myself putting the back end back together and getting that all buttoned up. I just waited a little bit um, to get everything put back together to make sure that there was nothing that I needed to look at or check or if there was any issues. Um, and I didn't. So it's good. So I can put everything back together. So now I'm just wrapping this up and I'll see you next time.